Hey kids, let's talk about babies for a second. Now I think we can all agree, generally, babies suck at most things, either literally or figuratively. They have almost no life skills whatsoever. However, as it turns out, babies do actually have some traits that make them superior to adults in certain isolated aspects. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys about a few. First is the baby's non-drowning reflex. If babies under the age of 6 months are put underwater, they'll instinctively hold their breath. Additionally, their heartbeat begins to slow down as soon as they're submerged, which allows them to use much less oxygen and, as a result, stay alive much longer than the average person. As we all know, babies get themselves into bad situations all the time. Soon as your bag is turned, they're off trying to lick another sock or whatever. So this reflex probably evolved from back in the day, right? Mom's off picking berries, baby wanders off, ends up in the middle of a lake, and somehow. This whole reflex thing gives the village more time to, you know, go get a raft and fish them out. Next is a baby's grip. They're able to support their entire body weight with just one hand, which is more than a lot of adults can do. Of course, it's kind of cheating because they only weigh as much as a baby, but it's still kind of impressive. This trait is shared by apes whose babies instinctively cling on to the backs of their mothers. So that way, if she gets a little courageous swinging from branch to branch, the baby doesn't just go flying. Anyway, because of this, it's speculated that babies actually got their firm grasp from our ape ancestors millions of years ago. And it's only a bit later in life when your genetics go, oh yeah, legs neat, and ditch the whole grabby thing. Next, babies are also very seductive. Not in the sense of like strutting around in thigh highs, making dude's eyes bulge. Not that seductive, but just in the sense of, hey, I, uh, I like looking at this thing. We should, uh, we should keep it alive for a while. Here's an example. If people saw a five-year-old on the streets rolling around in a pile of its own shit, they'd be like, ugh, what a scumbag. But if an infant did it, people would still be like, oh man, little guy, I want to take you home, clean you up, put you in little hats. Yeah. It has to do with a baby's facial features, like their large forehead and eyes, which set off a bunch of baby caring instincts in our brains, causing us to perceive cuteness. It's only when they hit like two or three when that all goes down the shitter. Lastly, babies have a surprisingly good concept of morality. According to a study by Yale University's Infant Cognition Center, babies are born with an innate sense of right and wrong. Here's how the study went, right? So first they put on a puppet show for the baby, with these two rabbit dolls, and they made one of them act nice, and the other one act like a dick. Then at the the end of the show, the babies were offered either puppet, and in almost every case, the babies took the nice one. And you might say a strong grip on morality doesn't qualify as a superpower. Personally, I disagree. People are terrible at keeping their basic sense of right and wrong unless their society maintains it for them. Let me give an example. A few days ago in the Philippines, the president of the entire country basically said, hey, we should just start murdering every drug addict alive right now. And this isn't seen as insane over there, no. Millions of Filipinos are now on board with this. It is fucked. You see, babies lack the mental capacity to justify atrocities with shit like, it's about the greater good, you know. They have no prejudice, they just see people as people, and honestly, I think we could all learn a thing or two from that. Not to get all George Carlin-y on you guys or anything. Anyway, that's all for today. Till next time, I'm Sam Manella, and thank you for watching.